Dr. David Samadhi, Director of Men's Health and Urologic Oncologist at St. Francis Hospital in Roslyn, New York, and author of The Ultimate M.A. Noir, is using genomic testing called Oncotype DX Genomic Prostate Score, GPS, helping him make more accurate decisions regarding each patient's therapy for prostate cancer. More than half of the men I see for prostate cancer are found to have a low-risk disease based off of their clinical prostate-specific antigen test or PSA and in addition, their pathological test using the Gleason score grade, stated Dr. Samadhi. Both of these tests can offer information on the aggressiveness of a man's prostate cancer, but I need more. That's where using genomic testing, like the Oncotype DX genomic prostate score, combines measures of the biology with PSA and Gleason score to give my patient and me an accurate assessment of the tumor's aggressiveness. Oncotype DX genomic prostate score makes treatment decisions easier. Every year, more than 225,000 American men are diagnosed with prostate cancer. Each of those men and their physicians will need to make critical decisions on treatments used to fight the disease at the earliest stage of their disease. These decisions may include whether to use surgery, radiation, or active surveillance. But how do to determine what is the right and best decision? That's where the Oncotype DX Genomic Prostate Score can make a difference in personalizing prostate cancer treatment. This tool provides additional information that goes beyond a patient's clinical risks to the biological risks of the likelihood of disease progression. When a man is diagnosed with prostate cancer, most of them will undergo immediate treatment such as radical prostatectomy or radiation, even though there's likely a low rate or chance of disease progression. Therefore, many men will face costly medical expenses, and some will suffer avoidable, life-altering side effects. Using GPS with my patients has helped immensely in making decisions on each man's individualized risk assessment by reviewing the GPS report, explained Dr. Samadhi. We review the report together to learn about that man's risk of adverse pathology, their risk of the disease metastasizing, their risk of dying from prostate cancer, explained Dr. Samadhi. If the GPS assessment shows a low risk for any spread or of dying from the disease, I'll recommend active surveillance, which means monitoring cancer closely with frequent follow-up visits. If a man's prostate cancer changes, we can make other treatment plans accordingly. Dr. Samadhi added, essentially, patients and physicians can feel confident when they utilize a GPS report. Knowing the test provides accurate information, I, as a urologist, can make good quality treatment decisions based on that report. But, most of all, I want my patient and his family to feel the same way too.